Life gave me tons of lemons today and I'm inspired to cook with them. Now I can make lots of things with lemons, of course. Uh, you know, lemon cake comes to mind, cookies, all kinds of sweet things. But today I'm going to be making a rice dish with chicken that uses tons of lemons. Now this dish has a lot of garlic in it. And don't be intimidated by the amount of garlic that I'm going to use. When it's sauteed and when it's cooked and braised for a long time, garlic will soften, it will mellow in taste, it will not taste like you've eaten a head of garlic, believe me, trust me. It just gives a lot of flavor to this dish, it's really important. And this chicken is whole, it's been washed, and I allowed it to sit to get to room temperature. And I'm going to cook it and braise it whole, completely whole, all right? So what I'm going to do first of all is actually I'm going to just use the force of my hands and I'm just going to flatten it. And that's just to help um, so that it'll fit inside my in, inside my brazier. So get this nice and hot first, and then you add in the fat. So I'm going to put in some clarified butter, and I'm also going to add in a little bit of olive oil. So I'm going to do it breast side down, and you're going to hear the sizzle. There it goes. Okay. So it's a perfect chicken that fits exactly inside. So I'm just going to let it brown a little bit on that side. My chicken is nice and brown. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. That's how I like it to be. Now this is all added flavor as well. Now to this, I'm going to add some more flavor because I want my chicken to braise. Okay. So I'm going to put in some carrots. Okay, I'm going to put in all this garlic. All right, now this garlic is going to saute. It's going to fry up inside. All right, and get nice and caramelized as well, but watch it. You don't want it to burn. Some celery. All right, that's going to go inside. Mm, the minute the garlic hit the, uh, the pan and that butter and oil, Mmm, the smell of garlic. There's just nothing quite like it. I have two cinnamon sticks. Here I have some bay leaves. So I'm going to put in one, two, three. Really, I love cooking this way. This is braising. And what is braising? It's not boiling, so I'm not going to put a lot of liquid in here. It's actually going to be minimal liquid. And basically, it's going to cook and steam in its juices, like the chicken is going, is going to give off a lot of its own juice. Now I'm going to give it some liquid, but not too much, okay? And remember, we started at the beginning by saying life gave me a lot of lemons. Yes, indeed it did. That's what this is. Here, this whole cup is full of fresh lemon juice, okay? And that is going to be the liquid that's going to uh, help cook my chicken, okay? So that's going to go inside. All right, and it starts to bubble, of course, okay, and that is that. Now, if you look close, I want you to see just how much liquid is in here. It's, I mean, I could add in just a little bit more water, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, just a bit, okay, and that's all the liquid that I'm going to put in here. Now, I'm going to put in some black pepper. Okay, the only other spice in here is the cinnamon, and that's the cinnamon stick. So black pepper goes in, and then I have some milah, which is my salt. Okay, and then I'm going to salt it now, and then later I can salt it. I can adjust the seasonings after. So now what is left to do is, now it's come up to a boil. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to turn down the heat, and I'm going to bring it down to a medium-low. And the secret with braising is that you actually cover this. Now you could cook this in the oven, you could cover it and put it in the oven, or you could do it on the stove. So I'm gonna take my lid, and you're gonna say bye-bye to this chicken, and when we come back, it's going to be cooked, falling off the bone, and that's exactly what you want. And it's all that garlic and lemon juice and the beautiful aromas that are in here are gonna infuse the chicken. So bye-bye, I'm gonna cover it and really just forget about it and just let it cook. So while my chicken is uh, braising nicely on its own, I'm going to prepare the second component and that is the, the yogurt sauce. 
that's going to be served with it. All right, so this dish uh, requires um, uh, quite a bit of garlic, and there's a little bit of garlic here too. So I'm not using very much, it's just one clove. I'm going to put it in my pestle and mortar, and milah, salt. And the salt is there to give friction, of course. All right, and I'm just going to pound this till it becomes a smooth paste. Now I have my nice garlic that is nice and creamy, okay, and I'm going to put it in the bowl. I have yogurt, and this is full fat, plain yogurt, okay, and that goes on top of my garlic. I told you there's lots of lemons in this dish, it's really nice. Um, and it's, it's by no accident that there is lemons in this dish because, as you know, uh, chicken loves lemons. I'm going to squeeze in just a little bit of lemon juice, okay. This hand is still not strong, but I'm using this one, okay. And there's already a little bit of salt, but you can adjust the salt as you go. And then the next ingredient is, do you remember the tahini that you use for hummus? Well, you can take it out now and you've got another use for it. So a little bit of tahini goes in here. And what is tahini? It's basically ground sesame. So I'm going to pour in um, oh, about this amount, okay? Uh, really, what the tahini adds to this dish, and of course you can omit it if you don't want, but it's, you know, it's classic with this dish. It adds a little bit of nuttiness to the, to the yogurt. But if you chose to do it just yogurt alone with no sesame uh, butter, that's fine too. This is my sauce, and this is the consistency that you want, okay? So it should be... Um, still uh, relatively thick but not goopy so it's it's almost like uh, pouring thick cream okay and that's it so sauce is ready so now we're gonna check on the uh, chicken and see how it's doing I know it's fully cooked okay I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna show you how cooked it is it is literally falling off the bone. I mean, the bone has disconnected from the chicken. And I still have some liquid here, and I've tasted it, and it tastes really yummy. It's nice and lemony and um, garlicky. So now that I've taken the chicken out, and I've just put it on a tray, I've removed the, uh, the cinnamon sticks and, and uh, everything else, and now I'm, ju I'm just leaving the sauce. And basically, just using two forks, I'm going to just... Um, break apart my chicken from the bones. And then I take my chicken and I'm going to place it back and keep it in the sauce to keep the flavor in it, okay, till we're ready to serve, okay? And that also keeps it um, nice and moist, okay? So it's not gonna dry. Chicken's ready, sauce is ready, and now the rice component, okay? And it couldn't be any easier. Now the kind of rice that I'm using is a short grain rice. And what I've done is I've pre-soaked this about an hour before, or even half an hour before is fine, just in some cold water, and uh, rinsed it really well and drained it. So this is what I have here. This is raw rice. If you've never tried clarified butter, or butter for that matter, clarified butter is better, I think, because it doesn't, uh, it's not going to burn. It's got a higher smoking point um, for making for making rice, uh, you need to try it. There's just nothing quite like it, it's delicious. All right, and now I'm going to add to this the rice, okay. So all the rice goes in. This is about two cups. I'm just gonna stir it together just to coat every grain. And then I also like to season it with salt, all right. I like to add a little bit of turmeric, okay? So the turmeric is going to give it a nice flavor and it also is going to color my rice this beautiful hue of almost like um, a lemon. It's gonna be sort of like a lemony rice, okay? So it's gonna match the flavors that are in it. Now you could cook this in chicken stock if you like or you could just use water, which is what I'm using here. So I pour just enough water Okay, I'm pouring just enough 
so that I am actually immersing my grains of rice, okay, oh, about a half an inch above the surface of the rice, okay? So I'm gonna turn the heat up, allow this to come to a boil. As soon as it starts boiling, I turn it down to low on a simmer. I'm gonna cover it and then just allow the rice to absorb all the liquid and cook. This amount shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And you really leave it alone. Don't go stirring it in between and making it all sticky. Don't worry about it, it knows exactly what to do. So you just leave it alone and it'll be nice and fluffy. We're going to put together this lovely rice dish, which is known as fettit jej. Jej meaning chicken. And fetti always implies that there is bread in the dish. And we have different kinds of fetti in the Arab world. We've got, you know, fetti with meat, fetti with, uh, um, aubergine, eggplant, fetti with zucchini, fetti with uh, hummus, you know, chickpeas, there's all kinds, and of course there's chicken, but it's always a bread component. Now what I did for the bread is I sliced Arabic bread really, really thin, I cut it, and then I fried it in a little bit of um, olive oil, just uh, in a skillet, or you could toast it in the oven as you wish, and then I sprinkled a little bit of sumac just to give it a little bit of tartness. Okay, so that's all ready, and that is going to be um, part of this dish that's going to give it nice crunch. So I start first by giving myself some of this beautiful rice. As you can see, here it is. It's cooked, fully cooked, and you see the nice color. It's, um, it's that nice lemony yellow, and that's because of the turmeric. And then our chicken, which I deboned completely, and it's sitting here in its juices, so it's nice and moist. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of chicken and then the yogurt sauce that we made earlier is ready now i kept it in the fridge and the another thing about this dish that i love is it's a play on hot and cold different textures and also different temperatures so it's a nice surprise when you're biting into something that's hot and lemony and then you've got um, the cold yogurt okay so i just drizzle as much or as little as i want of this beautiful yogurt. Pine nuts that I've sauteed in a little bit of clarified butter. And then I put them on top of my dish. A few pistachio nuts, a little bit of green, a little bit of crunch. The lemon peel that I peeled, sliced really, really thin, and I'm gonna use that as a garnish to put on top. And then the very last thing this is where I bring in the bread and I just scatter a few pieces on top and just let them fall wherever they want to fall around the side on the top and here it goes mm. lemony garlic but not you know hit you in the head kind of garlic it's nice and mellow and the rice is um, is nice and smooth and hot and of course that gorgeous cold yogurt that just complements the heat of everything else. And the crunch of the bread is exactly what makes this dish a fetti. And I hope you give this a try and uh, let me know what you think uh, about the fetti uh, chicken or fetti jej. And we'll see you next time. Bye.